Hello Year 3, I'm just going to go through on this video a couple of missing number expanded common edition questions just to see, uh, just to show you how my thinking is when I'm answering these kinds of questions. Um, I'm going to go through three different questions. Obviously, feel free to pause, uh, rewind, fast forward, whatever you need to do to get the most out of this video. Alright then. As you can see, I've got my page set up with my question. Um, I've already the question should already be formatted, so you've got them spread out into the columns. I'm saving you that effort, um, and I've got my pen ready to go through. Cool. Uh, I'm going to start my ones like we usually would um, with any of these questions. Uh, I can see I've got five and six, and this is a nice simple missing number because I just need to work out what goes in the box below, and I know five and six makes eleven. Looking over my tens is slightly different. Uh, problem here because I already have the answer. I already know that the two numbers add to make 70 and I've been given 20. Um, if I was to think about it in terms of a bar model um, then we would already got our whole number which is 70 and I've got a part of it which is 20. I need to work out what the final part is. I could do that by taking 20 away from 70 or I could count on from 20 uh, up to 70 whichever is easiest to you. For me personally it's easier to take away 20 so 70 take away 20 I know the answer is 50. Similar process again for our hundreds over here uh, we've got our whole which is 700 and we've got one of our parts which is 400 and we're trying to work out what the final part is. What could it be? Um, I just like to use the inverse, so 700 take away 400, uh, it's going to be 300. So I know the original number was 325, uh, add 456, and then your final part here is just to put them back together again. Uh, but, but. So I've got 700, 70, and 11, remembering again. I've got some extra 10s hanging about the map, so it's going to be. Um, 781 or 770 and 11 which would really equal 781 or 781 cool let's have a look at one more um, so I don't need any of these elements anymore say goodbye da, da, da. all right moving on to this second question then um, once again I'm going to put my hundred times and ones in uh, I'm going to start with my ones always. Um, I already have got the two parts here. I've got four and two, and the whole that they make is six. Moving on to my tens, I can see I have got the whole, which is 140, and one of the parts, which is 50. Um, I can use different mental strategies here to work out what that missing part is. I could do 140 take away 50. I could think about 50 add something makes 140, and I know that 150, which is close by, would be 100. The difference between those is 10, so 100 take away 10 is 90. Whichever strategy works for you. Finally, then looking at the 100, same deal here. I've got the whole, which is 1100, and I've got 400 as one of the parts. I've got to figure out what the other part is. 1,100 and 400. For me, I'm going to do that as a subtraction in my head. This is what it would look like in my head. Um, first of all, we get down to the 1,000. So 1,100 take away 100 is 1,000. And that leaves me with 300 left to take away. And that's a lot like my number bonds to 10. If I imagine that's 10, take away 3 is going to be 7. So that's got to be 700. In this case, I don't particularly need to put the answer together, but if I did, I'd have 1,246 as the final answer. And my original numbers were 752 and 400 and, sorry, 754 and 492. There we go. I hope that's been helpful to see how I would think through it. Um, I hope that gives you a bit of guidance with your work today. Take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.